Hi, Yarnabees! It is me. I'm smiling. <laughs> um, I just wanted to... I, there's so much I want to say. Um, oh, man. Uh, it's been a bit of a, a bit of a week. But, um, I just wanted to give you an update. I went to visit my sister yesterday and she's doing fantastic. Well, as much as can be expected right now. Uh, she was up and walking around. So, I mean, she's walking with a walker, but she's actually walking. She's, um, she's definitely a fighter. Like she's not, uh. She's, she's not, she's, she's sort of accepting cancer, like she's accepting the diagnosis a little bit, but we're still waiting for the, um, di the, the biopsy results to come back, so she's teetering. Um, they took the stint out of her head, and they now have her in the, uh, what's it called, the Neo, neo, science, neuro, science, neuro, science ward. Um, so she has her own room, so that's good. But two doors down from her, there's a fellow that is singing 24 hours a day. Uh, but he's not singing songs; he's singing sentences. So he has. He has some, some, something going on. Um, so it kind of reminds me of dad, my dad, cause he was always singing something. So, uh, but listening to it 24 hours a day is a bit much, I guess. Um, especially if Charlene's got a headache and, and what, whatever's going on, <laughs> she can close her door and it's all good. <laughs> so <clears throat> anyways, um, I also wanted to say, like, words cannot express how I'm feeling right now because of all the support that I am getting from the Yarny community, whether it be financially, emotionally, spiritually, um, I... I I am absolutely gobsmacked like I I am absolutely in shock sorry Bailey's under the table she's squeaking her ball um, I I'm just absolutely in shock and absolutely stunned at the support that we are getting and I cannot thank you guys enough I just <clears throat> I, I'm gonna try not to cry here <laughs> um, I, I I was not expecting this. I really wasn't. Um, my niece is just oh, just so we're we're all we're we're all just stunned at at the support, and uh, we thank you so much so much like there's nothing we can do to thank you guys enough like it's just it's it's amazing to me you know it's put new faith it my new new faith in humanity like it's just i i my mind is blown blown um i'm in good spirits today because it, it, things are just happening and my sister's doing well um, the next thing is I think going to another hospital that has a cancer ward <clears throat> I'm not sure what's gonna happen after that uh, we had a tremendous rainfall yesterday um, the whole island is on alert uh, we the the road from here to Victoria where my sister is is closed there's flooding everywhere the roads are out I couldn't get down there if I wanted to um, 
it's devastating right now. Uh, I'm so angry at that. But you know what? It is what it is. Things happen for a reason. Uh, maybe my sister just needs some downtime from family. Just going... <laughs> You know, I don't know what it is, but the higher power works in mysterious ways, right? So uh, I'm hoping in a couple of days that everything's going to get um, dealt with. And although I'm looking outside and it's looking kind of nasty out there again, there's um, some warnings coming uh, for snowfall and rain and all. It's, it's like, oh, it's craziness. <clears throat> Everywhere, all over the world, it's happening. Um, so anyways, we'll see how it goes. So anyways, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you a million times for everything. Um, and it's just, it's coming. It's, it's rolling in. The, the messages are rolling in. Donations are rolling in. Um, uh, uh, cards are coming on the way. Uh, just, it's just amazing to me. Amazing. <laughs> Like I just I could not be happier and I just I'm so grateful. I am so glad I found this community because the love in this community is huge, huge. And I can't wait for Stitch Fest. I really can't wait because I want to hug every one of you. Like I Uh, not gonna cry. <laughs> um, um, yeah. So, thank you. Wow. I. I nah. <laughs> I just. Wow. Um. Anyways, I. Uh. <sighs> I want to talk to you a little bit about the cardigans that I'm making, or that I'm making, and that I have made. Um, I was telling you on my last video that I'm, I'm going to be putting them up for sale and then those proceeds are going to go to my sister. I got a message today from um, a Yarny friend, a Yarny, a Yarny, <laughs> a Yarny family, uh, that kind of got me thinking about something. And I wanted to run it by you guys and see what you thought. She was saying, have you thought, uh, you know, thought about maybe doing a Bailey come on now uh, maybe doing a raffle for the cardigans and I thought hmm didn't think about that um, and I, I'm not even sure how to go about doing that it it's a possibility uh, what I may end up doing is having one sweater on a raffle and see how it goes it could be a total disaster I don't know <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm thinking about trying to give that a go and see what happens. But I want your input on that. Because uh, I know that the some of the sweaters, to sell them, they're going to be pricey, right? Because, well, the amount of yarn and the type of yarn I, ha I used is, you know, a hugo yarn is not cheap, right? And I didn't use Huga on all of it. I used Latte on some. Latte is not cheap either. Uh, <clears throat> especially in Canada. But, um, so I started thinking about it. And Georgia took me out for breakfast this morning. Bless his heart. Uh, and he, we had a discussion about it. And I thought, hmm. This would be a good way for everybody to get involved. And it would also be a great way for the winner to get a sweater that could cost anywhere from $90 and up for the price of a ticket. You know, like, wow, what a deal, right? Like, <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm thinking about this. And, uh, and thank you for the suggestion. You know who you are. Um, and so, yeah, so I, I'm actually thinking that. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the description box, box, 
box below. Because <laughs> uh, that's an interesting concept. Okay. Uh, on that thought, or on that note, I'll show you the sweaters again. Because um, new subs I've got new subscribers coming in every day. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, and they haven't seen it. Okay. So I've got the met the all the measurements down here that I'm going to tell you. One of the sweaters when I washed it 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 um uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Why do I keep wanting to say magnified? Nope, wrong. It expanded. <laughs> Let's just say. So the arms are like way down here so I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather it in some fashion uh, whether it be a um, uh, uh, like a belt thing that goes up and around with a button button on it to pull it all in so it kind of gathers down here uh, I don't know I'm going to figure it out so but it I love the sweater it's just that it got a little bigger <laughs> so anyway okay so this one this is all made from Huga yarn okay let's see if I can get it a little closer okay and it's copper and white and like I said before they all have um, the kimono type sleeves, so they're a little bit longer. Um, and this one, this one's a little bit shorter. It's a little on. Uh, it's it's not. It doesn't go like over your bum. Well, it depends on who's wearing it. So, but it's so soft, and it's so it's so pretty. So this one. Um, the length of it is 27 inches long, this way. Uh, the width is 21 inches this way. Now these are approximate because it does have a lot of give to it and a lot of stretch to it. Okay, so from oh, here to here, it's 21 inches. The arms from under here out is 17 inches okay um, so I'm classifying this as a between a medium to a large okay because we know between the US Canada the UK sizing is all all different okay so that's why I'm giving you the measurements <clears throat> okay so that's this one I just love that one and it's 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 not heavy heavy but it's heavy it's got some weight to it so it's it's really nice now this one is lighter it's it's quite a bit lighter all right this is made with <clears throat> the latte cake and a uh, Karen big cake okay so there's the arm this is the smallest out of all of them okay so there it is this one I'm classifying as a small okay I would say small to medium but it depends on the person right okay uh, <clears throat> but it's quite it's like waist goes up to about your waist I think so there's that one okay now this one is the length of it is 22 inches okay the width from hip to hip not hip to hip just above your hips is approximately 20 inches the arms are 13 they're not quite full length they're just above the wrist <clears throat> okay so there's that one. Now this one, oh, that's the one I'm working on now. OK. 
Okay, this is the one I was talking about that has the long arms. Like, unless you've got really long arms, you know, this is uh, the arms that need to be fixed on this. But I love this one. Ooh, hang on, it's really heavy. This one's got some weight to it as well. Okay, so here's the arm. Okay, here's the body. Ooh. Okay. Um, so this one, okay, so this one is, the length is 30 inches. The width is 26 inches and the arms right now are 26 inches, but they're going to be shortened. So I'm, I'm hoping to get them down to around 17, 18, 19 and somewhere in there. <coughs> um, and this one again is made out of the Huga and the Karen Big Cake, uh, let, uh, no, Karen Big Cake. Okay. This one is definitely a large to extra large, maybe even a 1X, I'm not sure. Like I said, it depends on the person. But there's, it's it's big. And it's the length, it's like goes past your butt, right? Okay, so there's that one. Then there is this one. This one, oh, this one is alpaca. <laughs> it's big, but it's not as big as the other one. Ah. Okay. I love these colors. Okay. So this is the, the dark gray is alpaca. And then the blue green is the illusions, Hayfield illusions that I was telling you about from before. <clears throat> okay. Um, oh, let's see if I can... Okay. Oops. Wrong way. There we go. Okay. So there's the arms. There's the bottom. Okay. There you go. Okay, now this one. Ooh. Okay, that one is, uh, the length is 30 inches. The width is 27 inches. And the arms are 18. Okay, now this one I'm classifying as about an extra large to 1X. Okay, but again, these are approximate because they do stretch. <clears throat> okay, so that's the cardigans. Now I am working on something, trying it out. I'm gonna turn this light down a little bit. Um, I'm trying this out, I've never made this before I'm gonna see how it goes. I'm almost finished. I'm just doing the arms right now. <clears throat> but what it's gonna be is a sweater, the pullover kind of sweater. You put your your head in here, and then it's gonna have the white sleeves, which I'm working on now. I didn't bring them in, but this is all made out of huga. Okay. The arms are, I think they're going to be 19 inches-ish. Um, the length of this, oh, I didn't bring my measuring tape in. But this, the length of this is about like the sweaters. Because um, if I put it up to myself, it goes just past my bum. Just past my bum. And there's a bit of weight to this as well. So I'm debating whether or not to put a 
um, cowl kind of neck on it. Uh, Turtlenecky cowl thingy. I'm not sure yet because I'm already up to $40 in yarn to make this. So if I put a cowl neck on it, it's probably going to be about 45 or so. I'm not sure. You guys tell me what you think. So I just have to put the arms on that and then figure out the neck later. So that one will be up for sale too when I get it done. Um, or up for raffle depending on what we decide to do. So that's all of those. Like I said, I've been crocheting like crazy. Um, I wanted to show you something that a friend of mine posted this on her, posted one on her Facebook. And uh, I thought, wow, that's really cute. And she said to me, you should make these and sell them. Like I don't have enough to do. <laughs> so I thought, okay, I'll try it. They're called whiny pants. And I don't know if any of you have seen these before. But I started making a pair. I haven't got it finished yet because I, I started this bef just before my sister got sick. I still have to put the suspenders on them and the belt. But these, oh, <laughs> these are the pants. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, and you can put the two wine bottles in it and you can give it as a gift. Right, like I said, it's got to have suspenders on them still, and then there's a belt that goes around here. So I have to finish that. But I wanted to show it to you guys just because I thought it was kind of cute. <laughs> but you can make them as Santa pants, and uh, I saw one that was a fireman's pair of pants. You could put a skirt on them. Um, so I thought, that's kind of cute. So I, uh, so that's what I, I started doing that <laughs> um oh I made another fish hat and I forgot to bring that in hold that thought okay so here is my new fish hat I'm gonna eyes it's got the fins yeah, you're gonna make me try it on aren't you <laughs> Oop. okay fine I'll try it on just for you guys. Okay. There you go. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be a funny thumbnail? <laughs> so this one's a lot shorter than the other one that I did. The other one was really long. So, and I did the fins in a silver... Uh, um. <laughs> oh, good lord. Uh, I did the fins in like a silver, sparkly silver. Can't remember what it's called now. But anyway. So this one is like a lot shorter. So, <laughs> so yeah. Everybody that, uh, well, all of you that I showed this to, these hats to, it was so well received. Everybody just loved him. So, uh, yeah, I made another one. <laughs> so, yeah. There's that. Um, I'm actually thinking about making up a few of these and sending them to Veronica from Vero's Crochet. Whoa, I said it. Vero. Vero. I've never been able to say that before the way she she rolls it off her tongue it's so eloquent I, I can't I haven't been able to do that <laughs> so anyways I'm thinking about sending them to her uh, because she has her shop she's gonna be opening up her shop in Texas so if you haven't gone and checked out her channel go down go check it out I'll leave the link down below um, she uh, yeah she's she's I can't wait to see what this shop looks like. It's going to be amazing. And she's in the perfect area uh, for for doing sales and stuff like that. Because it's just, it's right in the heart of um, like this 
big community thing that goes on every year and all year so anyway so there's that I'm at 947 Yarny family people I don't like subscribers Wow when did that happen holy cow <laughs> Oh, wow. That's awesome. That is awesome. Wow. I got so many new subscribers like lately. When did this all happen? I'm, I'm, I was in such a fog over the last two weeks. I'm just, wow. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> uh, don't forget when I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be doing a big giveaway. Um, yeah. I've been collecting things to put in the thousand subscriber giveaway box uh, for the last little while. I think when I hit 500 subscribers, that's when I started putting little things in a box. But wow, it's amazing. You guys are awesome. You guys are absolutely the most amazing people I've ever not met. <laughs> you know, like you just got, you guys are great absolutely oh, absolutely great I love you all so 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 much I really do okay I've rambled on long enough I think that's all I needed to better check my oracle here yeah I think that's it I, I've been writing a list I've been watching people and um and the yarns that they've been getting and talking about and everything. So now I've got a whole list of US yarns I want to get my hands on and try. <laughs> I've got, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve different types of yarn. And most of it's all yarn B yarn. I've got one I love this yarn and that's uh, print it's called print in sunset P no peacock tails or something like that and jazz stripe that's the only I love this yarn that I have thought about right now yarn B seems to be the ringer with me so there's a whole bunch of them like it's called effortless Arabella Wild Streak, Soft Illusions, Super Bulky, uh, Red Roads, Yarn Bee Rust Romantic, I think it's called. That's an awfully long name. Again, Words, uh, Katarina, Alpaca Twist, Aurora Borealis. Oh, that stuff looks awesome. Uh, soft and Sleek, Tender Touch, and Stonewash. I have had a couple of stone wash that I had gifted to me. I don't have any more. Um, but yeah, so those are all the ones. But the Aurora Borealis looks so nice. So one day I will get my hands on some of those. <laughs> one day. Uh, yeah, so anyways, I want to say thank you again. To all of you for everything I just like I said words can't express my love for you and um, yeah so I think once we get my si sister situated figure out her treatment um, and know where we're headed then I'm going to actually have a few giveaways just random giveaways to say thank you um, and just I want to be able to give back to you because you guys have given us so much and and it's just my heart is so swollen with love it's insane and the thing is is that my sister doesn't even know about it yet 
because she's been so sick we haven't been able to talk to her. Yesterday was the first day that I've actually been able to sit down and have a conversation with her in two weeks. So, or a week and a half, whatever it's been. I've lost all track of time. I have no idea. I know it's the beginning of February. That's it. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go now because I'm just rambling. <laughs> I am just so thankful to be able to smile again. Uh, it, it just feels like I've been in this dark cloud for so long. So, uh, some of you have been asking about my foot. My ankle hurts. Eh. Um, but other than that, I'm healing well. My, my toes have healed pretty much. Um, every once in a while when I step wrong, I can feel something like the screw that's in there it's like ow that doesn't feel very good uh i'm basically having to learn how to walk all over again because i'm walking so different but it's my ankle that's the issue now and i think it's just because i'm using totally different muscles than i was using before because when i walked before um i was walking in and now i'm walking out on the outer part of my foot not in my ankle would turn in <clears throat> Because I was flat, I had flat feet, so my feet would turn in and my toes would be out. <laughs> um, my late husband used to call me ten and two, because my my toes would be at ten o'clock and two o'clock, <laughs> so I'd be walking like a duck. Um, but my ankles, the in my inside ankle would be rolling in. Now this ankle's in, but this other ankle is out, and so I'm walking kind of weird. So I think I might be walking with a cane for a lot longer than my doctor had uh, first thought. She thought four weeks. I think it's going to be longer than that. I may need to get physiotherapy. I'm not sure. But that's the last thing on my mind at the moment. Right now I'm trying to get, you know, take care of my sister as much as we can. <clears throat> I can come later. <laughs> so anyways... And all for all of you that have been telling me I better get some sleep, I better eat, I gotta take care of myself. I am. I, I am. I think I've lost some weight though. Because uh, <laughs> I wasn't, I, I just don't feel like eating. You know, I'm forcing myself to eat. Because um, I know I have to keep my strength up. I get it. I get it. I've got like almost a thousand moms out there going. <laughs> so, uh, and I, I gladly take it. <laughs> Uh, so anyways, I'm taking care of myself. Uh, you don't have to worry about me. Okay, I'm going to go now. After I said like five, ten minutes ago that I was going to go. <laughs> so, okay, I love you all. I love you, love you, love you all. And thank you once again. Okay. Mwah! Bye. Bye.